Hello, I'm Chef Almeida Fonseca. I'm from the Culinary Institute of America at the Greystone Campus. And today we're going to present you a just fabulous recipe. It's going to be a risotto, which is going to be done in the traditional way, but we're going to add a little twist. We're going to be using some beautiful lobster over here that's going to be infused with a freshly infused canola oil with fresh vanilla bean. So to recap, my oil composition is very simply, I took a, a saucepan and I brought canola oil to 140 degrees and then I split a vanilla bean in half and the reason you split in half so you can scrape all the little beans that is inside this pod and then you're going to be able to infuse this oil. Canola oil being a neutral flavor oil would be the perfect uh, choice for this and the reason is I'll bring to 140 degrees and then I'll steep that vanilla bean with a little bit of lemon zest, salt, and black pepper. So right now, I have a delicious oil, great texture, and have that nice little nuttiness from the vanilla bean over here. What I'm gonna utilize this, gonna be in a later component, which is going to be to cook my lobster. And what you see over here, I have some fresh lobster over here that the only thing I did to this lobster was to blanch and extract the meat from the shell. I use the shell to make my shellfish stock, right? So right now I have all the components of my risotto here. I'm using carnaroli rice. And carnaroli rice is an Italian uh, rice. It's a, it's a short grain rice, very starchy, but it's delicious rice for risotto. That's traditional rice for risotto. In America, we find a lot of arborio rice, which works as perfectly as well. So we can utilize that. So here we have carnaroli. We have a Parmigiano Reggiano. We have butter. We have salt and pepper. And everything is ready to go, OK? So first component, I recap with you, which is the fresh infused vanilla oil. It's right here. The next one, I have my stock heated up over here. It's very important that when you make risotto, you do not add cold stock to your risotto because what happens is every time you add a cold stock to your risotto, you're going to bring the temperature down. You don't want that. So you want to add the, ris the, the stock to the risotto pan with, that is already hot. They're going to continue the cooking process. Okay. So right here, I'm going to heat it up my pan. And again, it's very important that you understand several things on the cooking process of risotto. Risotto is the kind of food that you have to be on top of it. You're going to be cooking and gently turning. You don't want to stir so much because you don't want to break the starches of the rice out. But you do need to stir to allow that creaminess to become a factor and the flavor infuses a profile. So right here, I have my pan gently warm up. I'm going to go on medium heat. So far, so good. I'm going to start it out with canola oil, OK? Very simple. I'm going to warm up my canola oil while I do my garlic. And the garlic, what I'm going to do, the, the only thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to smash. And if you see what I'm doing over here, I just kind of smash my garlic. So here, what happens over here, by smashing the garlic, I was able to extract some of the garlic oils over here, and they're going to break into my canola oil as well, and you're going to start the first layer of flavor. And then I'm going to add my rice. And you notice that I'm not allowing a lot of heat to occur. So I just basically want to sweat the garlic a little bit to transluteness, but won't be brown. I don't want the garlic to be brown. I'm going to add my rice and now what I did here by shaking it I allow the canola oil that is now infused with garlic to coat all the rices in the pan and then I'm gonna go with white wine okay so this is going to start to evaporate so it's gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna go with my fish stock, in this case, my shellfish stock, and then I'm gonna finish with a little butter, okay? So some chefs like butter and a touch of cream. I'm gonna use just butter because it's gonna allow enough creaminess over here. And what will happen is you can actually see, and, and in several classes that we teach over here at the CIA, we mention to the students to actually take a look at the rice and how it gets translucent from the edge towards the inside. So the father, translucent to the center, the father in is cooked. And then I'm going to add shellfish 
stock. And this is lobster stock that I simply made with onions, a little bit of tomatoes, some herbs, and the shells from the lobster that we're going to utilize today, okay? I like to serve the risotto a little bit al dente, which again is, is a little fine line from what is al dente and what is raw. So you want a, just a gentle texture on the rice, but you don't want a crunch. I'm going to bring the heat even farther down a little bit, and I'm gonna find my chives. And I'm just going to just simply chop my chives. This is good. Leave the rest over here for later use. And then I'm gonna pluck a few of the parsley leaves. My risotto looks really, really nice. A little bit more stock. And, and again, the, the, it's gotta be in layers. If you look at the pan, you see that the liquid is getting creamy and it's getting textured because it's getting thickened by the starchiness of the short grain rice. And I'm just gonna bundle up a little bit and I'm gonna do what we call chiffonade. In this case over here, I don't wanna kinda really chop very finely the parsley because I want a little bit of a texture. I want that to just kinda go well with the little chunks of the lobster. This is beautiful, okay. In this stage, I'll season a little bit I think I'm gonna add my last batch of shellfish stock. And then I'll be able to move the shellfish stock back over here. I'm going to move my risotto dish to the, to the grill, that way continue to cook nice and slowly. And I'm going to have my pan. This pan over here, I'm gonna get my freshly infused canola oil with my vanilla bean. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to heat it up just a little bit over here. And you can see that the pan I had sitting in the grill is nice and warm, okay? And now I'm going to take this gorgeous lobster tail over here and I'm gonna cut into, into half. And then I'm going to cut into three medallions each. Then I have a beautiful cloth over here. Very important that you right here in the center of the cloth, you're gonna find this little cartilage over here. It's basically a bone that you need to extract. And then the best way to do over here without bruising so much everything is just by cutting around it and then pulling it, okay? And then over here, I'll be able to have the whole cloth just gently cooked and I can use this as a garnish. I can use this on the top of my risotto as a garniture component. So right here, I have. So what I'm doing over here, I'm doing no more, no less than just gently searing my lobster into my, with my canola and vanilla bean oil. That oil later on, I'm going to infuse into my risotto as well, and I'm going to be Let me taste the risotto and see how far is the... It's about a minute or so, and we'll be right there. I'm gonna baste the, the lobster meat with my oil. I wish you could smell this, because this is just have tremendous Tremendous aroma, the vanilla bean with the heat just kind of sprung up some nice sweetness there. And, and the lobster is doing its thing really, really, really well, okay? Okay. Now it's time for my butter. And again, I'm gonna add in small amount my Lobster is ready. I'm 
Now I'm going to take off the heat and I'm going to add some herbs to my lobster. And I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to bring my risotto back to the stove. And I'm going to bring to the final cooking process. At this time, I'll taste it and season again and add my herbs at that point. All right, so now I'm gonna add my herbs into my risotto. Okay. I'm gonna take another little bit of butter over here. The lobster gonna be add, and then I'm gonna do the same thing very gently with the claw meat, which is gonna be the final garniture of this dish. Okay, so here I'm gonna not only add my lobster meat, but I'm adding my vanilla oil, which is now not only vanilla oil, but it's a vanilla and lobster oil. And now we have just a gorgeous dish over here, nice and creamy, little bit of a bite, and I'm going to do the same process with my clod. Okay. And here, go again with my freshly infused canola oil, infused with vanilla beans and lemon zest, which is gently hot, and uh, I'm going to see my lobster claw. And I'm gonna baste nice and gentle. I don't want this claw to be completely cooked. I wanna just nice and gentle. Got just enough color to So I can let it rest over here. That's beautiful. And my risotto. One last tasting just to make sure it goes out well seasoned. Mm -hmm. a little bit of my freshly infused vanilla oil. And I have some chives that I cut into small batonets over here. And just gonna be a little bit of a, an herb note on the plate. And just a gentle shaving of Parmesan that I wasn't going to put on top of it. I'm just gonna kinda rest around it. And we can leave the lobster as the main component on garnish. So in here we have the dish. We have a beautiful risotto made with lobster, freshly infused vanilla bean canola oil. I also utilize canola oil in several steps on there. I started out from the cooking process on the risotto all the way to the infusion with the vanilla bean and the lemon zest. It's a beautiful dish, very simple to make, and I hope you enjoy it.